What's up guys, today I want to be talking about Mina token, which is part of Mina protocol. It's a coin that's been getting a lot of press recently. I want to talk about its technology. So the issue with currently existing blockchain technology is that to get a full system of security properties, you have to download the chain and the entire data. And the issue is that even though if you have low throughput, the data is larger and larger every day. And that brings an issue to scalability versus security. So what Mina Solution is touting to have is the world's lightest blockchain. It's a size of 22 kilobytes, which is the size of two tweets, versus like on Bitcoin where someone has to go download 300 gigabytes of data on like a $4,000 computer. And over time, this size doesn't grow because of the use of technology like recursive ZK snarks. And all participants are nodes, which is an interesting system. And so it's proof of stake and its first layer, meaning that dApps and snaps can be built on it. And it also serves as an Oracle, which is really interesting. Um, the three product offerings combined together is what makes Mina protocol so enticing, which is privacy and Oracle and small in size. So if we take a quick look at their developer framework, it's still very early. It's a closed playground and they're focusing currently on the production of their mainnet and they plan to do grants in the future. And because ZK Snarks is such a paradigm shift in technology and uses snaps, this is why they said that they've been delaying the mainnet. Mina's use case is an ecosystem where snaps, which are snapified apps, kind of like dApps, can be built on, and it's to create end-to-end -end privacy. So for example, they work with a loans company called Teller, which gives out uncollateralized loan. So if an applicant wants to send their credit score but doesn't want to tell them exactly what score it is, how does this teller verify it? And that's using ZK Snarks technology. So what is Mina's main challenge and biggest hurdle? And I think it's obviously it's the ZK Snarks technology because they're the first one that's trying to use recurses of ZK Snarks. And Charles Hawkins, who's the founder of Cardano, said it took 18 months to implement just regular ZK Snarks with their Rust and Sonics. So this is very new technology that hasn't been used yet. So I do see this as a big hurdle. So what exactly is ZK Snarks? ZK Snarks is technology which allows the chain to prove data is correct without showing data. And a popular coin that uses it is Zcash. So let's use Waldo as an example. Let's say if I was the prover and if I can find Waldo, then the verifier would pay me. However, I don't want to tell the verifier where Waldo is because I'm afraid that the verifier is not going to pay me. So how do I prove to the verifier I know where Waldo is? That's using ZK Snarks technology. Say for example, I want to prove that I'm of age to drink. However, I don't want to diverge the information of who I am. ZK Snarks would be an ideal technology within this scenario. So I do think that in theory, this is really great. And I would think the world would be better with this type of technology. However, currently ZK Snarks are too computationally difficult to compute on ordinary devices meaning that it would have to be recursive to be massively adopted. So my thoughts on Mina is very 50-50. I do like what they're offering and what they said that they can offer in the future. However, recursive ZK Snarks is extremely difficult technology. It involves quantum physics, science, and cryptology. So I do think that this is not one of those one to two year investments, but if you're looking into seriously getting into this, this is something five to 10 years down the line.